So you want a main Aphrodite, goddess of beauty, ask yourself. Why do you want a main Aphrodite? Aphro has a super strong support kit. She is one of the very few mages that can be played as a support. She can solo, mid and support. She also has a nice personality. Now let's quickly get into the cons of Aphrodite. She can get countered pretty hard. Aphrodite is heavily reliant on her teammates. In this guide, we're going to explore Aphrodite as mid, solo and support with abilities, combos, builds, counters and what not to do, as well as general tips at the end. I would like to note that there really isn't much difference with the three roles when playing Aphrodite except for the build. Aphrodite is a Greek mage in Smite. Smite has classified her as a hard god. In my opinion, she's easy to average. Now let's go through Aphro's abilities. Aphro's passive, center of attention. Her passive is a buff. Aphrodite gains four physical protection and four magical protection for each friendly and enemy god close to her. This passive stacks up to nine times. This passive gives her some survivability, especially since Aphro tends to be focused on by enemies. Aphrodite's first ability, Kiss. Aphrodite's one is a projectile. Aphrodite blows a kiss to an allied god which links them together. The kiss will grant them both increased movement speed. If Aphro kisses an enemy god, enemy is stunned. This causes the ally to be jealous and therefore their damage will increase. 70% of all mana regenerated by Aphrodite is restored to her soulmate. Aphrodite's second ability, Back Off. Aphrodite's 2 is a point blank. Aphrodite does damage around her and knocking them back. This causes a 25% slows to enemies hit. If Aphrodite is linked to an ally, an explosion originates on both of them. If an enemy is hit by both blasts, they will only be affected by the one originating from Aphrodite. This ability is great to get enemies off your back, although it's not extremely effective in escapes as usually uh, enemy gods that are chasing you will catch up. It does do damage to the enemies and give allies some time to help you out. Aphrodite's third ability, Lovebirds. Aphrodite's three is a line ability. She calls a flock of doves that fly forward in a line in front of her. This ability heals her. This ability does tick damage to enemies. Allies will also receive healing if they're linked. Cooldown is reduced when the ability is ranked up. The pro of this ability is that it heals your allies really quick, but the downside is that you can only heal one ally at a time. This can be really stressful as a healer as you do want to try and save as many of your allies in teamfights. Really good Aphros can do this, it just takes time. Aphrodite's ultimate, Undying Love. Aphrodite's ultimate is a buff. Allies linked and her staff will be invulnerable to all damage for a short duration. All CC effects are also removed when activated. At each rank, cooldown is reduced and invulnerability duration is increased. This ultimate is super strong. What you do need to keep in mind is timing the ultimate as you do not want to ult before the damage comes through. For leveling abilities, I would prioritize 4 for cooldown reduction and invulnerability duration, 3 for healing and damage, 2 for damage, 1 for stun and ally damage. So basically, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now let's get into the combos for Aphrodite. For short combos, 1 and 3. 1 and 2. For medium combos, 1, 3, 2. Aphrodite doesn't have many combos at all. These combos are really easy to pull off in my opinion, but I've seen a lot of Aphrodites who do not use their kits effectively. She can be more than just a kiss and a heal. You can't really combo with her ultimate as that is situational when you use it. Now let's get into the builds. You can build Aphrodite in a number of ways. For a mid Afro, it depends on what your team needs. In my opinion, I really enjoy CDR on Afro, otherwise she pretty much does nothing if she doesn't have anything up. A build you can use for mid is Mage's Blessing, Chrono's Pendant, Shoes of the Magi, Warlock Staff, Rod of Asclepius, Soul Gem, and Spear of Desolation. If you want more power, you can swap out Soul Gem for Soul Reaver. For Anti-Heal, you can swap out Soul Gem for Divine Ruin. There are many items Afro can use and things you can swap out for, but I'm just giving you some examples. A build for solo, and as a note, I do feel Afro does a lot better in solo than in mid. You could go Warrior's Blessing, Shoes of Focus, Voidstone if you're going against a magical god, or Breastplate of Valor if you're going against a physical god, and I do advise getting both eventually. Lotus Crown, Rod of Asclepius, and something situational like maybe if you want more power, Rod of Tahuti, or more defense, items such as Magi's Cloak, Genji's Guard, Mantle of Discord, to name a few. Now for Afro support builds, I can't give you an exact example of a build here. As well with all support builds, it really depends on the situation. I will say that when playing Afro as a support, please do not go with a normal damage build. I suggest going with aura defense items and other items you can make use of are Lotus Crown, Rod of Asclepius, Pestilence, and CDR defense items. 
Please know that while Afro support is fun and can be played aggressive early in duo lane due to your extra damage and heals, it's a real lackluster in team fights later if you're the only tank they have as Afro will fall off usually. Counters for Aphrodite Aphrodite is heavily countered by anti-heal. To counter this a bit, you can get rid of Asclepius. Curse Unk counters her heals and the upgraded version will counter her heal and if your allies and yourself are affected by heals during the curse, you and the affected ally will receive 20% more damage from all sources during the duration of the curse. To counter this, try not to heal if they have the upgraded version on you or use your ultimate. Slows also counter Aphrodite. To counter slows, you can use Heavenly Wings. What not to do as Aphrodite as Aphrodite do not just throw your abilities randomly at enemies. The combos I've listed are really useful for her kit and getting the most out of her in fights and situations. Practice them and remember them. Effectively communicate with your teammate if you're having trouble. Like I said, enemies will most likely focus on you as they usually focus healers first. You'll need your team to help you out if you're being focused on. Aphrodite has no good mobility, so don't catch yourself out of ally range and with no wards on the map up near the enemy side of the jungle. Tips for Aphrodite. Aphrodite can make use of her damage from far distance just with her kiss and her two. Linking to an ally that's going in, you can pop up your two to do extra damage and slow the enemy. With your kiss, always prioritize those who are low in health in a fight. If a low ally is returning to base and you're sure they're safe, you do not need to heal them, especially if the fight is still going on. Prioritize those who are still in battle. In fights, it's better to link the tanks, warriors and assassins as they will be the ones taking most of the damage and you can use your two on them. Mages and hunters are usually in the back line with you. And that is all for the Aphrodite guide. I would like to let you guys know that I have created a coffee link where you can donate to help support myself while I'm focusing on YouTube. It would really help me out a lot. Any donations will be shouted out on my next video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Feel free to subscribe and click the bell if you found this helpful. I'll be making one for every god. Any comments and likes would be super rad. I hope to see you for the next one. Bye!